Now, what about rotation of the gantry? For a standard CT scan, we need to acquire projection data over a full rotation of 360 degrees. And at the time when the high voltage was still supplied to the tube wire cables, we had to reverse the direction of rotation from scan to scan in order not to twist the cables. Uh, and of course, continuous data acquisition wasn't possible at this time, only stop and go from scan to scan. But things are different today. Look at this. Continuous rotation of the gantry was impossible before the development of electrical slip rings for getting power into the X-ray tube and data out of the detectors. The weight of the rotating parts adds up to almost a ton and we can accelerate the machine to an angular speed of one rotation in three quarters of a second. The radial acceleration at this speed is four to five times the gravitational acceleration In the original version of the third generation scanner, the problem of the twisting cables meant that the scanner had to reverse direction after each slice. This limited the speed of the scan, as well as causing wear and tear on the components through repeated accelerations and decelerations. Continuous rotation overcomes all the disadvantages of stop and go and when combined with continuous patient feed into the scanner, creates the so-called spiral scan. <laughs>